Okay, so here we are. A lot of more boats and yeah, the traffic over here is kind of yeah busy. Um, we are in Almuiden. I already told you. And this place is like really known for uh, the fishing. That the, there's, there's a lot of fishes over here, as far as I know. I mean, you can see over here it's all fishing boats and yeah. So transport of fish, yes. Transport of cargo, not so much, I think. So yeah, but I don't know. They are cleaning the roads or something. Uh, I have to check my driving time as well. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. So, two hours and 30 minutes we have to go until we need a break. So, yeah, I hope we will get that. But otherwise we will have to take a break. But yeah, we have to just like see how the day goes. I'm not sure um, how far apart everything is. So, yeah. Oh, you saw that crash? Oh my god, I was recording that. So the Opal went backwards because he wanted to take this turn and he fucking crashed the other Opal. Well, at least they are friends. The cars. I don't think the people right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, that sucks. Like most of the times, nothing really happens like there's probably no damage but if he has like uh, then there is probably damage but like below five kilometers per hour there's probably not so much damage just a single dot i guess by the way, did you see how they clean the roads over here? So there's a truck driver with uh, water, I guess. And just like hot water and a brush or something like that. Oh, look at the Scania, my God. These fishes people are rich. And uh, the, the fan over there, he had a like, that he can hook stuff up. So yeah, there's probably damage. Yeah, that goes splendid, very well, very well. Like you can see in the mirror right now how the last wheel is steering, and what I have to be, uh, what I have to watch out for is that because that last one is steering, the the trailer will go way more out of its leak, you know, because he is turning the wheel for me, the trailer. So if I am close to a car on the right side and I will make a sharp left turn, the trailer will just hit the car instantly. So yeah, he's driving with his danger lights on, biker. Yeah, this can take a while, but it's a nice way to clean, um, yeah, to clean the roads. And don't forget to look at the bike, as you know, use the lower mirror adjust it if needed and uh, yeah it's really important okay there we go because if you probably will hit a biker there's a big chance he won't survive or he loses a leg or something so like i've said it before be aware what you're driving okay like you're probably driving 20 to 50 thousand kilograms and there is just no time for being on your phone or doing stupid stuff, you know. You really have to just watch out in general. Also this, don't take the chance, J just wait. I mean, yeah, of course you can probably make it and just don't, just don't. It's really not worth it to try it. Like now there's more space, he is almost done. You see, now we can just like easily make it. Like there's no rush, just do your thing. It's an interesting place over here. Like I've been here one time before in my life and that was with a small car and now I'm driving. And as you can see, it's quite nice how they do that. I've never seen that before. So yeah, here we go. Let's go. Woo! 1.5 kilometers and at the place I will record and explain some more stuff where yeah, I have to go right but I have to wait for this left car 
otherwise the trailer will break out and hit him so that's what i meant the trailer is going outside but you can't see it but you have to know it's gonna do it so yeah just basic tips good tips in my opinion like you really need to know this kind of stuff otherwise you'll make more crashes than you earn <sighs> so yeah we're just gonna go and i'm curious how it will look in real life okay that's just an open trailer there's so much stuff going on over here like i know it's an industrial place but like driving open with the sides and i don't know yeah, it's a uh, like forklift on the road. Uh, I, I I just said heftruck. Heftruck is the Dutch name for forklift. So yeah, there's just a lot of stuff going on over here. But yeah, this is also quite nice just to show you how uh, the industrial place of Uitmuiden looks like. So yeah. Like it should be somewhere here on the left. Yeah, it's, it's this building over here. The black one with the red windows. Um, okay, so let's let's just look for a minute. Okay, so what you can see is there's a truck over there parked over here. That is probably where I have to be. That's probably where I have to be on that side. Okay, no bikers, no bikers. Like that, that side is probably it. You see on Google Maps, this was the entrance, like this gate over here. And if you look at it, you will say, no way. What the fuck? They, they, they changed it so much, my God. Okay, this is also an industrial, yeah, probably the different side. I mean, don't go ask there like, hey, do you want me to unload here? Come on, it's like a small door and yeah just don't there's no parking place and it's a big company they probably have sometimes more than two or three people just standing there like um, yeah truckers so yeah that, that's not gonna happen over there so just think realistic okay so I went four times left so if I'm not mistaken I will be on the same road as where I should be um, okay so there's one over here waiting and I have to go on the left over here. So. Probably over here. So I would just go to the pole and I'm gonna say like, hey, I'm gonna unload. Uh, and what is this the correct address? And like, I'm not in a way, everybody can pass, so that's okay warning lights and let's do this okay so they told me it is indeed on the other side like that that is surprising because i will block the road but of course i will try not to block the road but yeah i'm gonna do that and i'm gonna do that as well okay Because also right now I have to look for cars because it will just go out you know the, the trailer it will move too much and you will probably like break stuff oh it's right over here you see NC is also just showing on there I'm just gonna park it here it's a nice space so I better use it I'm gonna just move it a little bit more to the left, so I'm gonna do that.
look at those walls over there. That's huge. That's even even the same height as the fucking building behind it. What the fuck? I don't know for what boat that is, but like, my damn. And here we have some propellers for boats as well. It's a uh, <laughs> again. There's so much going on over here. Always uh, nice to see those kind of things. Uh, okay, so we're going now to Lisa. We're going to Lisa. Um, the company over there, it's just uh, on the side of a road. You can like turn the car in, like turn it inside. But like, yeah, the problem is, I'm just gonna be honest. Normally I have like this strap and I'll put you guys on the mirror so you guys can like see everything what I do. But that strap, I lost it, uh, or I don't know, it's somewhere, but I have to look better for it. Because I have like three cases for all the GoPro material and that kind of stuff. And yeah, that's the, uh, the problem what I'm having right now. So yeah, we will see how it goes. Don't worry, I'll fix it. <laughs> Here we still have him. Come on, guy, clean those streets. And as well as now, now I have to watch out and make this extra long and then straight because otherwise I will hit him probably also if you really went close to him, you know. Uh, yeah, just be aware of what you drive. I keep saying it, it's so important guys, it is, it really is. Okay, so what you will get while getting your driving license is don't speed up to a roundabout. Don't do that because they always say you want to be driving 20 kilometers uh, per hour before you are at the roundabout. So they both will go over here. We check our mirrors for bikers and we're heading to this street, you know, to the curve over here. Because you want the trailer to make it all the way. So it's basically the same thing as I said from the previous video from corner to corner to corner. Now, with the moving back tires, axle, however you want to say it, uh, you don't want to do that all of the time because from corner to uh, corner to corner to corner, you're gonna make yourself really wide. And the problem with that is that yeah, you will hit anything really soon after that. So yeah, just be cautious with that. Oh yeah. Okay, so 23 kilometers, that's not far, uh, but I'm not sure. I mean like 80% of my truck is still loaded, so I really don't mind actually to just uh, <laughs> to just uh, have everything close and I'll be done for today earlier. Like I enjoy driving, but I fucking hate to have so many stops. I will more prefer like if they will say, hey Jack, go to Germany, uh, 400 or 300 kilometers. And I'm like, okay, bye, you you. I would love that. Like, I really love to make like kilometers just because yeah, it's not a hassle. Like today, I don't have to call anyone. I just driving on my own. I mean, like I've driven for a lot of companies and some companies you have to call after every customer and that's just fucking annoying I mean you want to be a truck driver to be by yourself do stuff by yourself and you have a big responsibility by that and it's just so childish to call childish to call hey I'm done I'm going to the next okay and then again and then again and it's just a waste of time and energy so yeah say goodbye to Uitmuiden because we are going to Lisse. Okay guys, so let me know. Um, would you like to see a video with uh, just a short video, let's say 15 minutes, with me being quiet and just driving with like the camera like this on my head. And I will put uh, two micro uh, microphones one over here I won't be talking and one close to the engine so you can hear the wheel truck sounds like the pssst and the, yeah the knocking of the changing gears and all I think it's really cool here's a demonstration how it will sound like
But of course, right now I don't have. I'm getting cold. But of course, I don't have a microphone right now at the engine. But let me know. I'm gonna pick up. <laughs> okay, so um, always check the left side if it's clear. If it's not clear and you have a moving uh, back wheel, back axle. I'll just call it an axle, okay? So if you have a moving back axle, moving trailer. I would just call it a moving trailer. If you have a moving trailer, then you really have to watch out over here. But like, he is waiting nicely behind me. So I can just take this corner without too much hesitation. Perfect. Oh, the windscreen is just like full of bugs. It's like, it really needs uh, like a car wash or something. But yeah, it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so yeah, as a truck driver, just never stand on the left lane. I mean, cars are way faster and you don't want to bother them. Because in this world with truck driving, you want to drive defensive instead of, uh, yeah, instead of the other one. Because you don't know what's gonna happen and you just have to be aware that people, like I, I, I've said it in the Dutch videos, uh, like always imagine everybody is an idiot except you just if, if you keep that in your mind it will help you because if you're doubting if you're doubting yourself like uh, I don't know like if somebody's standing on the right side and you think like he's probably not going right when I'm coming and then you just have to think by yourself like okay everyone is an idiot so he might do it so then you will just think like okay let off the gas see what's gonna happen have your foot on the brake because a loaded truck is not that easy to brake i mean from here to the blue sign is my recommended brake distance especially with a speed of 50 to 60 kilometer per hour like also this you know is he gonna do it isn't he gonna do it just be aware that he might do it it's really important okay over here as well keep it on the left watch out we have a moving trailer behind it so be aware that you don't uh, stick too much to the left side perfect Okay, there we go, there we go. You see, I'm going really wide. I can just like steer closer, but I'm not used to that feeling. Over here is a sign, so better take time to, yeah, like that. And then just straight, because the trailer will like straighten out if you just steer straight. And sometimes you can like knick it, you know? You, if you have too much, you go to the right, you go to the left and it's straight. Okay, always look if somebody is going out or in because you need the other side of the road as well okay i've looked on the internet so i know how it will probably look like but yeah keep in mind it could change okay so it's over here So this is my first time I'm going like really wide into somewhere. So yeah. And just re remem remember, give yourself enough space. Is a car coming? Okay. Give yourself enough space. Because you might need it. Keep an eye on the right side every now and then.
Okay, now you just want to make it straight. So you can see what's happening. Okay, so a little bit more to the left. It's like cables over there, that's so annoying. Okay, he's saying to stop, so I'm gonna stop. Okay, let's see what we have over here. Okay, so there we go. We finished unloading. Kinda a mess over here, but I can't judge them. They're working hard. It's hot, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, they had no space, so I had to wait for a long time. Yeah, if you can wait. That will be nice. Well, that's a tight fit. Okay, you know, he has to watch out with the blocks. That goes. It's okay, it's going all right. And that's what I mean, like, don't blindly yush, go through a corner. If there's someone coming, you have to, yeah, calculate that uh, within what you're gonna do. And that's, yeah, I basically keep on saying it because it's that important. I mean, like, what a mess this was. Now I had to wait, he had to wait. Both maybe a little bit annoyed. I'm not that easily annoyed about something, so I really don't mind, but like, it's just hiccups that are not necessary. Okay, it's over here, yeah, the cars have to wait. If you go a little bit more to the left, thank you. I have to go over here, it's a bike on my right side, so I'll keep that in mind. Over here, I'm is clear the biker has like uh, shark teeth is how we call them in the netherlands uh, that means that he is not the first one to go i am okay and that was basically another yeah company um i made one mistake i have to say that um I skipped one address, so I was unloading and I noticed that the shipment wasn't in order, so that was basically my fault. Um, it's only 20 kilometers away, so yeah, I will just go there right now. Um, I'm not gonna call the company for who I'm driving, because it's not necessary right now. It's close by, I can still fix it. and. They are busy enough, they don't want to be bothered. They are looking like, this is just regular shipments, you know? If it's something else, okay, you should call. Because they're waiting for it, but like with this... Come on, you're a truck driver, fix it yourself. And uh, yeah. And also use the, the mirror over there on the top for uh, to see if anything is in front of you, like a pole or something else. And you can see where you have to go, like the line until how far you can go. And on the right one, uh, I don't have to use it now, but on the right side, on the top there, you see a mirror. I use it mainly on the highway, so I can see like, okay, there is someone next to me when I want to go to the right side. Uh, one time inside, uh, yeah, in the Dutch we say, bebouwde kom. It means that it's like this. This is the bebouwde kom. It's just where businesses are, houses are, and you are allowed to drive 50 km per hour over there. And I once had this like splitting, so that you could go to the left or to the right. And uh, last minute I changed my thoughts because I had to go to the right instead of the left. And yeah, somebody was there and I hit him, yeah. 
uh, he had some rim, rim damage and that was basically it. It was not real big but just a waste of uh, money you know. And since then I always use this one. I don't care if I'm standing still and I want to shift lanes. I don't care if I'm on the highway and I want to switch lanes. I always use it. It's so important and nobody really taught me that when I got my driving license. Like hey the mirror up there you can use it for this or that. Because I think it's mainly used for to see the lines. Like you see the white line on it. I'm not sure if you can see it. But uh, yeah, you can see how much you are, cl how close you are to the corners, and yeah, I'm just not sure if that is what they are meant uh, meant to be. Again, I'm going to the left. Keep an eye out on the right. If there's some car, you really have to be careful because the car, the trailer will swing out. So yeah, here we go. Woo! This is full speed by the way, as you can see, I've told it many times before, it's not that fast. So, for also for the regular car users, don't get fucking mad about us, we can't do anything. This is like full throttle, it's not going faster, okay? And yeah, I'm not even heavy loaded, so if I was heavy loaded, it will go way and way slower. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just drive, there's nothing very important to say over here so yeah I'm just gonna go and I hope I can make everything in a one video size but I'm not sure we have uh, a lot of new customers and the thing I really like to do when I have new customers is that I can or companies that I can show you guys like okay this is a whole new situation so yeah I just want to show you that like okay eh, let's say there's a car and you have to back up how are you gonna do that how do you need to think and that kind of stuff so it might get uh, gonna be a two-part video uh, the chance is quite big because I already think I have for like 30 minutes of video content and I try to keep the maximum size to 45 minutes um, so yeah, we will have to look at that, but yeah, that's a concern for tonight and not for now. So let's go. Okay, so over here, as you can see, we have a traffic light. Uh, there's no one on the left. Even though they're going to the left, always keep uh, watching because you have a moving trailer and it will move like it will like, yeah. Just be careful over here. Also take your space, what you need. Easy and easy. Okay, there we go. Uh, something on the road here. It's okay, just... Yeah, okay. So yeah, guys, uh, we just went to Haarlem. Uh, the, co the, the, the company we forgot so yeah we're just gonna head back now and we will see how this will end up it's a beautiful place over here though like look at this buildings over here and our uh, it was really easy to unload in Haarlem because I could just park next to the road because the entrance was blocked and they got a forklift and they pulled it off. This is also with the mirrors. You won't have to care about the mirrors. Trucks are way higher than just regular cars. So that's really nice as well. <laughs> it's always funny because you always see the tree shaped like an L or upside down. And I'm pretty sure it's just because all of the trailers that are driving over here, like, I'm pretty sure the government doesn't give a fuck about that. Like, of course, if it's a thick branch or something, they will remove it, but just leaves and that kind of stuff. No way. The trucks will do that for them. <laughs> and I just heard a knock as well, so yeah. So the strange thing about this now is that I don't have to steer so much to keep it in between the lines. And that's new to me because normally you have to think about your, tra your trailer, 
just hitting everything. I've hit over fucking three trees by now. There's just a, just this one road. <laughs> oh well, it's okay. We have a 70 road. It's gonna be a tight road as you can see. Okay, getting up to speed. Just drive it all the way till the end. Just don't put it on. Give people. And give the people some time to react, okay? So yeah, this is uh, close enough for me to a highway. I'm gonna end it for now. Uh, we can drive one hour until we need to make a break. So yeah. to drive everything away right now, that's not gonna happen. Um, um, yeah, I will have to Google the next company but it's a it's a big company you know so i might can like take my break on their parking spot um yeah i would just have to try that so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna look at it and i'll be right back to you guys but that will probably be tomorrow because i'm very tired and i want to go to bed and i want to upload this for you guys as well so anyways, this was part 2, I hope you enjoyed it. We are gonna upload part 3 tomorrow. At least I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to render this and upload it as fast as possible. Um, it's 4 a.m. in the morning right now. So yeah, I've been edit editing for quite a while now. So anyways, please like the video, consider subscribing. Hey, have you heard it? We got a Discord server. So you better join it because it's fucking awesome in there. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope to see you in the next video. My name was Jack and until the next one. Whew.